Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Jules. This is Yoga Fusion Fitness. And today I am going to be sharing with you the tutorial for a twisted downward facing dog or a revolved downward facing dog. Before we get started, if you are enjoying these videos, please make sure to like this one. And then also check out my YouTube channel where I will be posting this one and all the other tutorials and flows that I've created for you. For this particular posture, you will just need a yoga mat. I am going to forewarn that this is a more challenging uh, posture to do. It requires a lot of strength and it requires balance. Uh, so check it out, give it a try if you'd like, but just know that this is not one of those poses that you're just gonna easily hop into. It took even took me a while to get to, and um, I'm still working on it to this day. What does this posture do? Why is this posture so great? The benefits to revolved downward facing dog are that it helps to release stress, it helps to relieve tension headaches and headaches in general. Um, there's something very uh, relaxing about it and it just helps to uh, release that stress and tension. Um, and then last but not least, this particular posture helps to tone the abdominal muscles and um, lengthen out the backs of the legs. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with Revolved Downward Facing Dog. I'm going to remove my socks here really quick so I get a good grip on the mat here. And we're going to start with Downward Facing Dog. So hands are shoulder distance apart, fingers are spread, and you're pressing down into the mat with your hands and then pressing the mat away from you. Tuck the toes and send those hips high, lengthening out the backs and the legs for our downward facing dog. Good, feet are hip distance apart. Spine is long, back of the neck is relaxed. We're going to take the right hand and we're going to reach for the left calf. And then you're going to pull yourself through looking under your left armpit. Keep those hips square. Keep the weight evenly distributed between both hands. Good. We're going to root the right hand. We're going to take the left hand. Slide it down to the shin or ankle of the right foot. Keep the weight evenly distributed and look under your right armpit. Good. And come back a little bit down. And we'll come to a seated position. So that is your revolved downward facing dog. I will show you one more time. So let's go ahead and take our downward facing dog, spread the fingers, root down through the hands, draw the energy up into the arms, send the hips up and back, lengthen the back of the legs, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, reach your left hand for your right calf or ankle and look under your right armpit. Breathe, hold it for three to five breaths. Come back to center. Good. Other side, Le right to left. Look under the left armpit. Come back to center. Lower the knees to come out of downward facing dog. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. I am always happy to answer any questions that you might have. 
keep in mind that this is a challenging posture. This is not something that you're just going to do overnight. Take your time, practice. It's okay to follow your own journey to this posture. And until I see you next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.